My name is Richard Ferrer. I'm the editor of The Jewish News, and it is my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you all here to the third annual Jewish News Bicom Israel Conference. This year's conference, as I'm sure you're all aware, takes place on the 100th anniversary of the Balfour Declaration, and we've uh, named it 100 years since the Balfour Declaration, Britain, Israel, and the Middle East. This 67-word letter from the then Foreign Secretary was a pivotal moment on the path to the creation of the State of Israel. And it's an indicator of the importance of this landmark anniversary to the British government that Theresa May has invited Benjamin Netanyahu here to mark the occasion. Today, in association with BICOM and Balfour 100, we have brought together top speakers from across the UK and Israel here in Westminster to engage with you, a specially invited audience of policymakers, analysts and journalists from around the world. With us today are MPs, diplomats from 19 embassies, leaders of the Muslim, Sikh and Jewish communities, and representatives from Lambeth Palace and City Hall. We are also welcoming journalists from BBC, ITN, Sky News, Al Jazeera, and the National Press. Through a series of keynote speeches and panel discussions, today's centenary conference will analyze the causes and consequences of the Balfour Declaration. We will examine 100 years of British policy in the Middle East and assess the current challenges and the future opportunities in the region. Our speakers and panellists include Secretary of State for International Development, Priti Patel, Shadow Foreign Secretary, Emily Thornbury, former Foreign Secretary, Sir Malcolm Rifkin, former leader of Israel's opposition, Isaac Herzog, Elias Zaneri from the PLO, and Sir Simon MacDonald, the Permanent Undersecretary at the FCO, who I will be introducing shortly. <clears throat> this conference is part of an ongoing commitment by the Jewish News and BICOM to enhance the quality of political debate, both here and in Israel. As a newspaper and as a research centre, both of today's main organisers are dedicated to objectivity. Political discourse on this topic has often fallen short in this regard. We hope this conference, like the previous two, will help lift the debate away from that territory. So welcome to you all, including the many of you who are watching on our webcast. Uh, those who have to leave us during the day can keep up with events at jewishnews.co.uk. And of course, everything is on the record, so I do encourage you to tweet using the hashtag Balfour100. That's Balfour100. Thanks to all our friends and partners who have made today possible, particularly Balfour 100 and the tireless team at BICOM and all of our generous donors. I would also like to sincerely thank MP Mike Freer, who has enabled us to hold this event in Parliament today. Great credit is also due to the Jewish News' news editor, Justin Cohen. Where is he? Oh, oh there he is, working in the corner as ever. And uh, BICOM's chief executive, James Serene, who have coordinated this project once again with supreme commitment. I would also like to thank the board of the Jewish News and its owner, Leo Noe, who is an outstanding leader of our community, whose support for the newspaper and events like this we are extremely grateful for. Now, to get today off to an auspicious start, I am delighted to introduce our first speaker. Vladimir Slutska is co-founder and president of the Israeli Jewish Congress. He is a, um, it's a leading Israel-based organization devoted to supporting Israel in the international community, especially here in Europe. He has served as, uh, nearly finished, he has served as <laughs> senator in the Russian That's Federation time, Senate <laughs> and was chair of the European Friends of Israel organization. Please, will you welcome Vladimir Slutska. Thank you. 